All right, Marvel Rivals pre alpha coming in. Uh, some heroes are good, some heroes are bad. As always, let's go check out which ones are good, which ones are bad, so you can go ahead and pick the best ones. Um, or if you like playing the worst ones, then you know, you have fun with that one. But Spider Man D tier, one of the worst DPS in the game. Kind of fun to spin webs and fly around, but it's pretty janky. Um, so you'll be like running into buildings like if you were a drunk Spider-Man. Um, very little damage. So yeah. In the world of uh ranked, since in Alpha it does have ranked, which is pretty cool. Um he is going to be put in D. And we're going to go on the complete opposite of the spectrum, Hella. Put Hella in S. Hella is insane. Two taps people across the map. I don't believe there's fall off damage uh in the game. So um yeah, she just domes people, two taps, chunks tanks. Ulti is pretty solid as well. Um you go into like above vision with crows and throw them at people. The movement ability is a little bit weird. You're just in a straight line, so that one probably could be used. Get yeah, you know, changed up a little bit better, but overall, like DPS wise, she is one of the best. For tanks, one of the best is Groot. I'm gonna go ahead and put Groot Nest here. Um, his survivability, really good. The amount of walls you can block people off. Uh, just melee and point presence. He kind of like is the best tank for that. It is kind of annoying when you have two groups on the field because everyone's just putting up maze walls and then they take forever to die. So, yeah, I mean, Groot's survivability, his ulti is like a grab that sucks them all together. So just overall, very, uh, very good, easy to combo with, um, things like that. And now on to healer. I think Loki, bam, deserves a top spot for healer. So there you go, DPS, tank heals. There's some. There's still a couple other S tier heroes um, that we'll be putting in here, but overall the starts, yeah, Loki, insane. He can copy a hero for his ulti, and he starts with ulti right away, so he doesn't have to build it up or anything. Um, like Echo needed to, you know, build an ult if you're coming from Overwatch. But yeah, so you just like ulti, one of the OP heroes, and pop their ulti instantly, and it's a team fight win. He has an immortality with his shift. You can put out different clones, so you can TP the clones. All of them heal and do damage. So depending on where you're shooting, it's just overall one of the best uh, supports out there. So yeah, if you're trying to pick the best. Those are probably close to uh, the best ones. The other good support, I think at least, is Luna. I think Luna deserves one of the top spots just because... She also has the ability to where when you shoot your teammate, it heals. That's what Loki has as well. So you can either do damage to people, um, or you can heal your teammates by shooting them. So it's just an easy, fast burst, non-like heal resource, you know, needed for like abilities and stuff like that. So uh Luna's up at the top. She her ulti is like a transcendence. Everyone just gets like insane amount of healing. You can still get one shot though. So you have to be careful for, you know, Spirit Bomb from Magneto or Iron Man's thing. Um, Neymar has, uh, shoots a giant ass whale that uh, one taps you if you're in like the middle of it. So you still have to be careful for the one shot abilities, but every other ability that, you know, is damage or like has consistent damage, you're going to be able to outlive that. So her ulti is just crazy for that. And, um, you can put her E on one of the tanks, and then every time you heal somebody else, it heals him as well. So it's kind of just an insane amount of uh, healing output. Um, But yeah, so that is there. I think, let's start, who else? Who else want to just put? Black Panther, I think, is fun to play. Um, Definitely better than Spider-Man. But I don't think... I think I might put him in C in the beginning here. Um, just because... Uh, uh, no, yeah, I think... Because I think magic is better than Black Panther. Bang, bang, bang. So I think, yeah, this is for like the melee engage uh, DPS. I think this is the line. We just played 
like three or four games of magic and like learn the combos and she can like actually one tap people not one tap but like one tap combo um so she actually has solid damage i think black panther is really team dependent on them actually going in because yeah you can get your dash resets which is honestly super fun if you haven't played black panther definitely just go into there you throw like a javelin you dash you e you can dash again and it's just like you're just zigzagging over the map but it's just not a lot of damage output um but definitely fun so for that reason we'll put them in c and magic in b for like the melee uh dps heroes but yeah so that looks pretty solid hulk i think hulk's pretty bad for a tank he's probably one of the worst tanks out there just because he doesn't he has a couple shields he can engage a little bit but is he worth no i think spider-man gets his own thing nah maybe hulk is with him i mean storm is also pretty there too maybe we just put them all together these are like the worst picks <laughs> These are like the worst picks you could pick. There you go. <laughs> All the healers are actually pretty not like not bad. So um Yeah, so for Hulk, he just does he suffers from the same thing of not a lot of damage. Um he is really easily shot and doesn't have really much any cover abilities or hard like sustain. Um like Rude, if he gets slow, he can just wall himself off. Uh Doctor Strange has his uh force field which I think is like they're the top two tanks. So we're going to put Doctor Strange up there and S as well for uh, the tanks, as well as his ulti kind of just like is an AOE CC. So um, you'll see this is like probably like the top. Winston, I mean, Hulk. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, I'm a Winston main in Overwatch and, the, you know, it hurts that Hulk is so bad and he's pretty much the Winston, you know, character so feels bad man f's in the chat uh but storm as well for dps she's kind of like lucio she just can do like a damage boost or like a speed boost aura not that much damage output her ulti is all right it's a little tornado that spins around but it's like doesn't get as much burst potential as every other uh dps character so that's why she's just at the bottom of the list like yeah, you can probably play her, pick her, quick play, have fun. But if you are trying to do the ranked during the alpha, get higher up. Probably you want to stick away from those characters. Uh, Iron Man. Also, pretty glass cannon. Bad. Um, get shots out of the sky. Really easy. There's no mercy pocket for you. But he does do a lot of damage. So I think he's on par with... Probably Black Panther. It's fun to play. Definitely better than these. But against any good hit scan player, you're getting domed out of the sky and pretty done so. Yeah, good in bronze when you first start out, because nobody yeah, nobody looks up when you you know low elo. Or sometimes in quick play. So you can pretty have pretty much fun just nuking everybody from the ceiling, but overall like Good wise yeah definitely not um up there i think magneto is solid but only when you have scarlet witch so with scarlet witch um do i want to put him in a i think i'll put i'll put them probably both in a so th this combo is only good when they're pretty much like together Scarlet Witch does good damage her ulti is a diva bomb very short radius though and she has to try and survive throughout the whole thing and with Magneto, he has a Zarya bubble, so that combos well. She can try and get the survivability for a little bit longer. As well as Scarlet Witch with Magneto gives him a gigantic plasma sword that lets him just do tons of damage. So this combo together, solid. If they're not if they're if you're playing not with the combo, then they're going down to like B tier. Right? They're not that Magneto is definitely not that good as like a solo tank or something. Uh, his ulti, spirit bomb, uh, you need to combo with stuff. Otherwise, you're probably getting very little value out of it. You can use it to counter um, a bunch of DPS ults because it sucks in the projectiles that are getting shot. So as long as if they're getting 
bullets around it, they get sucked into it. Uh, does more damage. But we'll go ahead and put that there for this combo. If you're looking to do some uh, duos, live live out your uh, tank duo lives or something like that, then you could pretend that Scarlet Witch is a tank and you just combo together um, and have fun that way. But let's see. So I think Raccoon is also A tier support. Definitely uh, almost as good as like Loki Luna, but not enough, you know, burst sustain healing. Like he's good with Punisher. So I think I'm going to keep Punisher away from S tier and just leave it probably those. Mm. Yeah. I, I mean, Raccoon, I think. Star Lord. It's between Star Lord and Punisher. Who else I want to probably put in S? Like both of these are really good. Like Hella actually maybe is just on a league of her own. Um, yeah, maybe we'll just leave it like that. I think that's probably fine. I mean, Star Lord, Punisher, they both are really insane DPS paired with raccoons. This guy is like infinite ammo, uh, and just destroys with his ulti. Has good shotgun, uh, tank bursting capabilities. Star-Lord just has, you know, Tracer, Reaper ult, auto-aim, pretty much everything you can for mobility. So, he's also very solid DPS. But maybe I'll just leave him there in A, just as that this is like the peak performance of heroes um, that you kind of always want to have at least one of in your uh, ranked games. Uh, let's see... Penny Parker, I think she probably goes to B for tanks. Definitely not C. She can get a little bit of value, but definitely one of the better than Bruce. But for tanks, yeah, definitely lower than those other ones. Uh, just because, I don't know, their damage output, not that much. You can shoot spider webs. That's pretty fun. You can hang from them, you know, pretend you're a little itsy bitsy spider. And fly to it, you know, you can go back and forth, so pretty fun, but other than doing the junk rat move of putting the net and throw all your mines outside the uh, spawn door, which you can do on the paler map, so if you want to troll and just get a insta-kill and piss somebody off, go ahead and do that. It's, you know, pretty funny, but uh, don't tell them I said that or to do that so they don't come after me. Um, so you can do that, but don't do that to me. Uh, let's see. Mantis. I think Mantis is all right for support, but her healing, you need to have resource of doing headshots to be able to spam your heals. So that's the only reason why she is not as good as Loki or Luna, which can just left click on heals, teammates and heal them. Uh, her ulti is like another AOE, you know, transcendence type thing, but it gives heals and move speed. I don't think... Eh, maybe. Eh. She's not terrible, but I think I'll probably put her in B. Yeah. I mean, she's good, but not that amazing. I'd rather have Rocket Raccoon over Mantis anytime, any day. Uh, Raccoon also has a uh, respawn beacon that he can do. So that's, yeah, that's why he's definitely better. Mantis B. Uh, Namor. Namor's pretty fun. It does good damage. Is it enough to put him in A, though? Mm. His octopuses have auto-aim. It's just like a turret. He... His ulti is a one-shot, so it can counter Luna ulti. Counter Groot. Is he on, is he on par with Punisher and Star-Lord DPS, though? That is the question. That is the question. Do I want him in B? B or A? I mean, he's like a B plus. I think Punisher and Starler are probably are better than Namor, but they're not like that far behind. Pro yeah, I mean, I could could do Punisher move up one. The Namor Star Lord are on A. Mm. But you don't always, but it's between these three. 
for these two for sure. Like you always for sure have to have a Hella, but you don't always need a Punisher. But you 100% need Hella. So I, I don't want, I don't, yeah, I think we'll leave the S tier like that. And then these are just, I guess, all together. <laughs> I think we'll just, I think this is, this is uh, pretty solid. Yeah, those ones need at least one. There you go. There's the combos. Um, bang, done. Yeah, all the all these are situational, dependent on you know what you you know have for your team comp. But there you go. Marvel Rivals Alpha tier list. Uh, based off of who is the strongest for each of the roles. Um. Appreciate you guys watching, uh, hanging out, you know, for those of you in the chats with the, the ideas and stuff, appreciate it. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe on the YouTubes and, uh, till next video, peace.